drive is Wayne Goodzell. So, uh, that uh, pay to participate video was skyrocketing at first, and the YouTube Mormon employee immediately shut it down. I'm coming up with inspired, brilliant ideas for videos lately. I had so much fun with that video. That was awesome. So, uh, Garn is back. <laughs> Speaking about women getting pimped out by the church, who needs to be rescued. And so, uh, yeah, I checked. They deleted it from the previous posting and just bumped it up uh, to today on the church news. Yeah, she's going to be uh, pimped out on uh, the 25th, which is Sunday, right? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, yeah. Music and spoken word. Sundays, in the morning. Because uh, she's a naughty girl, not, she's not married. She's single. And she's accomplished, so she's been moved out of her job. To work behind the scenes at the church news and yet you never see any of her articles it's because she's not doing investigative journalism for the church news <laughs> and because the church is so offended with her particular choice of career field investigative journalism and had moved her out of investigative journalism to work for the church, to be indoctrinated by the church, away from investigative journalism, like what I do. <laughs> they now realize the damage they're causing to her, as uh, living here in Utah is still not getting her married off. So now they have to make her the focal spotlight again. And they're disappointed because I was reminding of, you, of her every single day. And uh, I stopped. Oh, no. <laughs> and so she's back to remind you that she needs to get married and start having babies. You know, like Oaks did. I've uh, been working on uh, all the uh, events in the coming days of Jesus' mar miraculous powers, magical powers of Jesus in the coming days before his second coming. So uh, we're working on that. Uh, there's a... Uh, some interesting news here. The church no longer cares about you and your family. <laughs> I'm well versed on this because I did it. New Year's Day, 2000, I uh, went in to see my mom, and she was there in her bedroom uh, on the computer, and uh, she was working on her uh, family history, going over the cards that she just had printed off at the temple on most likely uh, the... Let's see what day of the week it was. It had to have been before the holiday. Yeah, so I don't need to worry about whether it was a weekend or not. And she was uh, checking them in the system. And uh, I asked her, what are those? I didn't know what they were. I wasn't involved. She didn't ask me to participate. I'm divorced. I'm evil. She blamed me. 
and she helped, aided and abetted, the ex to uh, abduct the kids and flee the country and ruin my life. I'm the one to blame because the family proclamation says so. And uh, she said, those are our family names. And uh, I said, oh, well, I'd be interested in helping. And that's kind of surprising. Maybe I'm going to come back to church. Be a good boy again. <laughs> and, uh, and so I began at a slow and steady pace. Didn't want to rush things at, at first. And uh, started going on, I think, Saturdays. And uh, doing the occasional name. And, and then I wanted to do genealogy for myself. And so I was sent to my dad's computer <laughs> and told to work on his family line. And that brings up more stuff uh, about my parents when they were dating. My dad was her home teacher at in uh, Salt Lake City. Uh, that way, yeah, that way. Uh, she was working as a, in a dental office as a dental assistant and uh, he was going to the University of Utah because BYU denied him because he had seminary credits and so he didn't qualify to go to BYU. Yeah, there's a lot of stories in this church. <laughs> so, my mom saw that he had left his genealogy for the lesson that evening on uh, their little coffee table thing with a lamp. And uh, the spirit, as she tells it, told her that one day she'll be doing his genealogy. And she says, hell no, I'm only going to do mine and my husband's. I don't think she said hell, at least she didn't tell us that that's what she said. And then it hit her. Oh crap, I gotta marry him? <laughs> and so, uh, some time goes by. Uh, he then graduates and uh, is approved to go to the University of Berkeley, California. And uh, he uh, proposes by saying, hey, I'm going to Berkeley, are you coming with me? Mm -hmm. well, and so they uh, got sealed in the Temple of Angels, I was conceived that evening, and off they went on their honeymoon up the California Trail along the coast uh, to Berkeley. Isn't that fun? Conceived in the summer of 69. We actually had uh, the, the 6th of June was uh, their wedding anniversary. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I was uh, obtaining so many new names for my father's side. I'm the fulfillment of her. <clears throat> and, uh, and so, I... Uh, my dad was uncomfortable now. <laughs> and, and so I had to take uh, the tax refund that year, that summer, and uh, uh, get my own computer. And uh, dad set me up on the program. And this was back in the disk days where you had to go to... Uh, the a stake center that had a library so that you can use the disks there and then you had uh, your own file it was the three by five floppy disks that you put in the computer and uh, yeah I ended up with quite a number of floppy disks 
before they eventually come out with USB drives <coughs> and many more experiences there and so uh, that's what I ended up doing I was finding so many names to do as everybody was telling me oh, all the work is done there's nothing left and I have pioneer heritage yet people were missing things even my dad thought I was duplicating files and yes I was aware of that because of how much work I was doing nonetheless people still missed stuff because the further back you go the more there are to do and so yeah it's easy to miss things and so I developed a file system to keep track of the papers of genealogy pedigree charts and uh, I told my mom that I developed uh, uh, my own filing system and she said oh yeah me too and I looked at hers and okay that's great mom Great. Mine was better. It was based on the Dewey Decimal type system. <clears throat> Whereas hers was complicated. <laughs> Mine was the grid map system. Hers was the grid map mixed with names of streets. I don't know whose stupid idea that was to screw with that here in the valley. The grid system was perfect. Why did somebody screw that up? <clears throat> and so I would was realizing I got to pick up the pace. I got to go more often now. And so every single day I was doing something. Most of the time it was initiatories. I would go in on, uh, uh, not necessarily Saturdays, because baptisms were quick and easy too, and in Utah you can do that. Outside of Utah you can't do that, you have to make appointments and blah blah blah. And so here you can just walk on and into the Jordan River Temple and get it all taken care of. And, uh, and so yeah, I was going every day to the temple doing my family names and they were being kept and recorded by the church and the, the recorder the temple they had them approved and everything in the system and the church kept them all well yeah that I'm not doing that anymore screw you and your family <laughs> you're on your own now <laughs> Temple family name cards not kept on file, but can be returned upon request. <sighs> you know, and so yeah, they're, they're still apparently doing the theft of other family names. And so if you're a new convert to the church and you think you're going to get names to do for your family no they're already been done the church already found them printed them up sent them to a temple somewhere around the world they did them for you because <sighs> they're forcing everybody's agency to save you everyone's going to be saved and then they give the excuse well you can always you know accept or deny it when you're dead <laughs> It's Lucifer's plan of happiness. <sighs> that was not the intention of Elijah, by the way. That was a later development. But, uh, I, yeah, that big news there. Uh, and so, yeah, I'm saving the best for last, and it looks like I'm going to have to do it as a separate video. So, oh, bummer, dude. So, let's see what else we got here. I think that's it. Garna is the big news again. She's back. She still needs to be saved. 
rescued from the church. And I'm willing to help. <laughs> She's got to uh, give consent. But uh, otherwise, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Nelson's self-fulfilling prophecy came true. <laughs> oh my god, that was so awesome. So, you know. <sighs> Abide in me and I in you. That's going to be the other video. Because nobody's even watching now. You guys are so frustrating. <laughs>